Hi ladies, Jeremy Ferenc here. Top 30 best female perfumes. So, on the number 30 spot, we got Armani Coat. Sexy, but sadly does not last long. On the number 29, we have Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord, which is a delicious gourmand fragrance. And what is gourmand? It means it smells like you want to lick it, eat it. It smells like orange mixed with a nice hot chocolate on it. Again, super sexy, but doesn't last long. Number 28. Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique Essence de Parfum. Smells like the original Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is great, but they added a unique whipped cream note. So again, goes in the direction of a gourmand fragrance. It's great, but the competition is simply very huge. Another Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is Scandal. This is the fragrance if you want attention, ladies. Sometimes, you want to turn heads, this is the fragrance and it's such a powerful honey fragrance. It will turn heads non-stop. Number 27 is Juicy Couture's Dark Noir. This is the strongest Juicy Couture. It is so easy, sometimes all you have to do is smile and have a good vibe and you don't need many things. What I mean by that? This fragrance is such a simple DNA, fruity, floral, sweet. Blah. Like you've smelled it so many times. This is your typical Veron Ugh, Veronica Ferris, <laughs> Victoria's Secret vibe, sweet sugar type of a vibe. And this is the longest lasting Juicy Couture. I love it. Show this to any man on earth. Most probably they will love it on you. Next one is Givenchy Les Interdits. And it is great, but it lacks a little bit of character. This is for everybody that wants to have a good office fragrance. So if you're looking for an office type of a fragrance, this is Givenchy Les Interdits, clean and fresh. Next one is Mio Mio. And this one is a Lily of the Valley fragrance, very long lasting and pretty nice if you want to have a Lily of the Valley fragrance. Next one, super cheap, is a sandalwood fragrance, a woody fragrance, and it's a celebrity one. It's super cheap, it's like in the $15 range. Don't forget, ladies, you generally have to pay more than men for, for perfumes and beauty products. It is simply the world, it is. Women generally have to pay more for the products. So if you want to really have a lot of little payment, Buy this one, this is like 14, 15, 16 dollars, super cheap one. Next is the Angel Muse. All right, this is a cacao bomb. One of the longest lasting perfumes that exists on the market. Very great fragrance. If you want to grab attention again, but different, cacao. The other one was honey, this is cacao. <laughs> So, some people are shocked now that I have Chanel Chance or Tendre so far behind, but the fact is, it doesn't last long. I think this is the best fragrance you can give a woman as a gift, technically, because every woman is happy about a Chanel fragrance. And by the way, I don't have Coco Mademoiselle, otherwise it would be in the list, and a lot of other ones, I think. But this one is great, but it doesn't last long. We gotta be clear, we gotta be honest with it, okay? But sexy, great, easy to like. Next one, Burberry Body, my favorite white musk fragrance for women. So this really smells like you had sex <laughs> with your husband after you took a great bath and he really had it nice with you and then that's the natural musk you're giving off in a type of storytelling way with this fragrance because it really smells like feminine, sexy musk. Next one is a great fragrance which is called Lancome Midnight Rose. This is the queen of rose and raspberry fragrances. It smells like roses mixed with raspberry. A little bit older by now, but still great. Next one is a fruit cocktail called Dolce Gabbana number no. three, L'Empretrice. And this one is great. 
it smells like a basket full of fruits. Still performs good. In case you didn't know, ladies, this line used to have about eight fragrances. From these about eight fragrances, I think only two survived, which shows you this is one of the great ones that survived. Next one, this is her, Zadik and Voltaire. If you are an alternative type of a woman, Avril Lavigne, Tina Turner, <laughs> Billie Eilish type of a, not your typical pretty girl, pink butterfly girl, I suggest you should try this one. This is really for the alternative type of a woman. It is again, like the Adam Levine one, a sandalwood fragrance and like the other one, has a whipped cream note. So the performance of this is really, really impressive. Like with most of these fragrances, I do reward fragrances that are long lasting, such as this one too. This is Dylan Blue Parfum. Great sexy perfume, ladies. This is a great sexy perfume. This is for Scarlett Johansson in a velvet blue dress sitting on a talk show. It smells like a confident woman that still kept his femininity because some women lose their femininity while being bossy, but they lose their femininity. Just like guys lose their masculinity while being also yin and yang. So this smells like a woman that kept her femininity, but is still a boss babe. An attractive woman, like I know one right now. She has a lot of characteristics of a boss babe. And at the same time, she's super mega feminine. <laughs> That's great. Next one, and by the way, I heard it makes women sick, literally physically sick, if they are not feminine, if they have to, if they have to put on the, the, how do you say, the role of a man in a relationship, meaning like they have to treat her, their husband or boyfriend like a little baby or you know if a woman becomes too hard on that side it physically makes them sick you got to research that so stay feminine it's gorgeous we love feminine women next one is carolina herrera oh <laughs> that's feminine good girl and that's a sexy perfume for every situation anytime everywhere whoa sexy now this one is not for everything, it's pretty much just for a date. <laughs> Elizab's girl of now. Who of you ladies love seductive, sexy pistachios? You love pistachios? If not, do you love pistachio ice cream? Do you love some other things that are pistachio based? <laughs> I think there are some Middle Eastern desserts that I'm not too familiar with, also with pistachios. This is called girl of now and it is a pistachio sugar fragrance. Super sexy, super nice. But a very sweet one, so that's why it's only for the date. Next one, Armani C, Passion. Oh, I think I saw Bibi Hadid, Jel Gigi Hadid. I think I saw her in Los Angeles. It was a famous hotel by the Rodeo Drive where all these superstars and Justin Bieber and everybody's there and Jennifer Lopez. So I was the first time ever with a friend from a perfumery and I was eating, I think, chicken wings. And I looked to the left and I said, wow, I think that's Gigi Hadid. Hot woman, all black, but different nuances of black. So she had a almost pitch black jeans, but not. Then she had a pitch black leather jacket, some type of silver chain on her, super tall, super slim. I was saying, oh man, she's hot. And whenever I think of this fragrance, I think of that moment when I saw her on, in that hotel. She was standing in the lobby, just like, this is this typical stance that some hot women have sometimes. They just like crossed legs and stuff and super thin and <laughs> just like that. So I think this is a great fragrance for women that wear an all black look. This is, it, it, it doesn't have a leather vibe, which to me would not be sexy smelling a leather on a woman, but it does have a dark berry vibe. You know, like a juniper berry. Did you know that gin is coming from the word juniper berry because one of the ingredients is juniper berry in gin, which is from Holland, from Netherlands. 
So we have gin, we have juniper berry, we have cardamom, and we have just pretty much vodka, and that's gin. So that's why some guys in the perfumery are interested in gin, because it's like perfumed vodka. Okay, so it does have this dark berry, oh, zesty, sexy vibe. Hey, I have Polish heritage, my both parents are from Poland, and when you drive through the streets, there are these big baskets and these cute grandmas selling you huge blue, wild blueberries and stuff. Yeah, I love that, it goes in that direction. Next one, we got Britney Spears Fantasy, one of my favorite cheap perfumes. This is your, this is just sexy, this is just sexy. Honor where honor belongs. Ah, come on, come on, show it to me again. Ah, it's, it's just standard, but well executed. Standard, but well executed. <laughs> meaning it's fruity, floral, girly, and cheap, and performs pretty good. Now this one is the Wife fragrance, Mont Guerlain. The funny thing is they have a lavender note in here, and lavender is very unusual for women because it's more a men's fragrance note. Here he has lavender. The guy that made this fragrance, Thierry Vasseur, super great guy. Love it, could last a little bit longer, but that's the thing. Number 10, Ariana Grande Cloud. I think, what would happen if I would meet Ariana Grande? Tja, that would be great. I think it would be cool. <laughs> and this fragrance smells just like Baccarat Rouge. Great substitute to that expensive fragrance. This is about $30, that other one is about $300. Same strong performance, same smell. It's just more of an ethical thing for you if you want to wear a fragrance that is a clone of a popular fragrance or do you want to spend the extra money and honor that expensive one, it's up to you. So number nine is Lovado's Red. Oh, I think of that song by Kanye West where he, in the music video he has this red heart or it was some type of American Music Awards or something. I just wanna say thank you for watching my videos in between, I love it. <laughs> and this one is a berry, berry chocolate fragrance that is long lasting that men love, it's fantastic. It is a little bit synthetic, but it's so good. Find this cheap and just wear it. Could be your cold weather fragrance, so gorgeous. Number eight, oh, this is the teenage dream sexy College girl from California, blonde, wealthy, family, hot, everybody wants her type of a fragrance. La Bella by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Peach and sugar. Sometimes you don't need more. Well, it's sexy, but it's not so good like I remember it. It's very sweet, it's very, very sweet. But it's great, it's great. Show this again to any man out there and they will love it. Next one is this guy right here. <laughs> it got a little bit bad by now. I had this one for a long time now because my fragrances are exposed to sunlight and heat. But it is great. La Nuit Midnight Treasure. They have actually, I don't like their names. They, they have L'Eau de Parfum, Midnight Treasure, Eau de Nuit. The, the, the names of these Lancome fragrances are sometimes crazy to, or difficult to remember. This is mega long lasting. We are talking 14 hours and longer of performance. Superstar. Again, mega long lasting but super cheap. $20, pink sugar. Gorgeous, sexy, wear it, turn heads, save money. Fantastic. A great one. I think it's still, I think this is a huge seller in Germany, but I don't know how good it sells in America because in Germany when this was hot, I smelled it on so many women. You gotta wear this, ladies. Rihanna Rap Fleur. Rihanna Rap Fleur. Sexy fragrance. I was just thinking, I was never in love with Rihanna. No, never. I was in love with Britney Spears, but never with Rihanna. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Next one, La Vie est Belle et Claire. So before we finish this video, I want to introduce you to the note of Orange Blossom. <sighs> Orange Blossom, 
if you have an orange tree where oranges are blooming, you know, the, the oranges, like Florida is the main capital of the world with the b biggest orange production. On that orange tree where oranges are f growing, there are green leaves and there are white flowers. So you have three compo components of an orange tree. You have the orange, you have the green leaves, and you have the white florals on that, which many people don't know. And what we have here is the orange flower oil. So they take that white flower, which obviously has an orangey vibe, because it's from an orange tree. At the same time, it has a floral vibe, because it's a floral, and it's sexy. It's just a feminine, sexy note. If you take the leaf, it's, again, a little bit herbal, shower gel, masculine, potentially. If you take only the orange oil, it smells a little bit like food and too much like orange, but if you take the orange flower, it's great. And this is the best orange flower fragrance on the market. By the way, if you love Armani Code, which was the number 30, get this one instead, because it's very similar. And same company, it's Lancome. No, sorry, it's L'Oreal, and they own Lancome, they own this. So they are not mad if I say don't buy this, buy this. And I don't have any deals with any company. No. <laughs> Next one is Dolce Gabbana, the one, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This perfume right here is my favorite summer fragrance for women. This is my favorite summer fragrance for women. And it is very sexy. It's fantastic. It's gorgeous. I was just thinking about, yeah, I don't have any deals with any brands, but there is a brand that wants to have a deal with me, but I'm not having that deal, but it's open, but it's an unknown fragrance distribution company. So that's why I was just thinking, because every morning I say, thank you God for giving me the strength to speak the truth every day. So just for you to know, I don't have any deals with any brand, but I'm negotiating with a brand from New York, which is a fragrance distributor. And, but it's, it's, they do celebrity fragrances and stuff, but it's not anything yet. And also not from, no fragrances from here are from their distribution channel. So just to make that clear. Number two, Dolce, ah, Dior Poison Girl Eau de Parfum. The second best female perfume. Mega, long lasting, great brand, versatile, huge compliment getter, Late, men love it, it's great. Oh, and the number one, La Vie est Belle. Get it if you want to have compliments. Obviously, buy my own fragrances. They are the best in my eyes. Just buy them. They're called Fragrance One. And we have the night and day, both out of one cell. To me, they're the sexiest DNA that exists on the market. I also have to say that because once I make assignment, I said, done, this is it. And they are, by the way, by Honorine Blanc, who made Black Opium, Juicy Couture fragrances. So check them out as well. Dear God, thank you for a fantastic day. I wish you ladies a great day as well. And we we'll see us with another video. Bye. Peace.